Salwetionis, this is I'm Amelia, also known as the Martian Geek, and welcome back to another episode of Rabbit Rampage. In the last episode, we died a lot, apparently, and that was only level 2. That does not bode well. But now we're on to level 3, or level 400 as the game calls it, and this one's themed around the episode with the bull. Unless there's more than one. It's themed around an episode with the bull, anyway. I believe Bully for Bugs is the most well-known one. But anyway, first we want to go right, because there's a 1-up over here. And the, the only items you get in this one are anvils. You can probably see where this is going. Also, we have these wooden target things. Now here's the mystery guest of the day. The bull. And that was careless. Now for now, we kind of just want to dodge him. Eventually, we're gonna we're gonna have to have him run into all those target things. But before we do that, we want to go get the rest of the items. Ah, oh, that was also careless. And he does a lot of damage when he hits you too. Yeah, now I need that carrot. Yeah, if you're too far away from the target, the bull will automatically draw back from it like that. So we can go through the rest of the level without having to worry about him. I can never remember if, which of these holes actually have items, so that's why I want to go through and check without a bull chasing me. So, this brick wall here, we want him to run into this. And then also, this is the entire level right here. Yeah, very linear, pretty straightforward. There is one kind of little nuance to it. But for now, I think we have all the items, so now it's time to... Have our bull friend smash his head into these wooden targets. There you are, El Toro Estupido. See, if you jump away too soon, he won't hit it. But if you do it like that, on the other hand... And bonk. You can usually hear him move before he charges, so... Not all the time, unfortunately, it seems like. Alright, now, he's right there, so we need to be... need to react quickly here. And bye-bye, brick wall. Wallow Doom, 500 feet. There's actually another sign at the beginning of the level, but we need to hit this switch. So now we get to use these anvils, because he destroyed all the targets. Press A and anvil! Just be wary for him coming up behind you, and... Bonk. You can get through here without using the anvils, by just repeatedly dodging around him. But there's no real reason to. Also, can I just say the animations in this game are really good? I mean, look at those graphics. Look at the... That's a big sprite, too, there. That bull. Okay, we should have, I believe, one more anvil, maybe, to use? I think you have just enough to get you the rest of the way through. Okay, yeah, that was the last one. And there's a sign. El Switcho, 200 feet. I am quite sure that's not the Spanish word for switch. But now it's time to let him slam into the other targets. On the other side of the level. Whoop. Oh, that could... Okay, good. And wham! Next one. You can probably see where this is going. Get the carrot that we didn't actually need. And finally, this metal wall! That's what the switch did. It made this wall appear here. And having him run into the metal wall? We've completed the level! Sile rating Bouncing Bunny. Um, bouncing is good, I suppose. Press start, and... Well, we didn't get any prizes. Now it's time for level 4, or level 1.3. And this one is actually kinda tricky. Got some holes at the beginning here. And before I check that other one, I'm gonna get rid of this pig here. Because he's shooting nuts at me. Oh, speaking of nuts, more chipmunks. Because we totally missed those guys from the first level. Yeah, down here, there's just an angry gopher, who immediately shoves us out of this hole. Over 
here. Big bad wolf. Yeah, this is basically a fairy tale enchanted forest themed level or, or something. So if you know your Bugs Bunny, you can probably guess at least one of the characters who appears here. Now that first wolf takes, I believe, three hits to destroy. I don't know if what you hit him with has any effect. Now this is one of the tricky parts of this level, is making these jumps. Because those nuts will very easily just knock you right into the abyss. Also, good opportunity to use that dynamite. All we have in our inventory now is a cork, and the only things you can use the corks on are the wolves. And I generally prefer to save them all for the third wolf, because as you can imagine there are three. Straw, stick, and brick. And gonna get these items over here, but first let's fall off the branch. Can I jump directly? Yes, I can. Get rid of the pig. Oh, actually, let's show off what spinning does. See, it's pretty powerful, but the problem with spinning, and the reason you can't just use it all the time, is because it drains your health meter. So, yeah, I rarely ever spin in this game. I tend to use it only for times of dire need, and that's debatable. Oh yeah, if you go for long enough without hitting the wolf, he just blows anyway. Anything in this hole? That probably wasn't the best time to check, but... Well, so far I'm not doing a very good job fighting this guy. I also tend to want to save my first checkpoint for after I've beaten all the wolves. As you can see, as you can see this guy has more health than his pre uh, predecessor. And generally I find the best way, or the best place to dodge the incoming pieces of wood is from this branch. This is also a long level. Definitely one of the longer ones in the game. So, it does generally give you a decent amount of, a decent number of checkpoints. Also, fake wall here. You can get a few items. And pie. And let's take this guy out from a distance. Do we have enough pies to do that? We do not. Yeah, another time jump. Fortunately, the pigs don't seem to be able to turn around, so... Let's take this section from top to bottom, and then come back for the treasure. Um... I didn't say fall off the platform. Really, I should just be holding up all the time I jump. Oh, wait a minute. Pie! Do I have anything else to... No, I do not! Okay, kick in the butt. And... Okay, actually, I guess they can turn around. But not if I position myself just right. The old sniper... Joe principle, and okay, I could just completely drop it right off the platform, that works too. But this seems to be relatively effective in dealing with those guys. No, you will not throw your nuts at me, sir! Um, did I already check? I think I did. Let's come up here, and you can actually find, I believe, a cork if you duck in the chimney here. Yeah, cork. Okay, now it's time for... Wolf abuse! Whoa. Um, did not mean to fall off the ledge there. Fortunately, there's actually a platform here. And the bricks that he's sucking won't get me from here. Okay, now, when he tries to suck in, he inhales the cork and explodes. Here, have another. And another. I think I'm out of quarks, but I believe he only has one hit left anyway. So, have dynamite! Delicious and nutritious. 
And checkpoint time. I believe I have... Okay, I have one more checkpoint. And I think you get at least one more in the level. Also, do not get hit by the witch's magic, because that happens. And actually, now that I think about it, I believe... You can actually go through... No, you can't. Okay, I'm probably thinking of a different part of the level. Also, Hansel and Gretel, or somebody up there dropping sweets on me. Rather rude of them. Also, Deadly Gingerbread Men of Doom. Yeah, see, there's another checkpoint, and a jar of jam. And the only thing that works on is the Gingerbread Men. But it's kind of funny when it does. Here, should have a good opportunity to demonstrate it right here. The big gin Gingerbread Men are faster in spin. The smaller ones throw candy at you. Have jam. Looks like you got caught in a jam. Ha, <laughs> ha. Pie? Yes, pie. How ironic that a creature of candy would be taken out by sweets. And speaking of being taken out by sweets. Magic seems to home in on you, too. Uh, dang. I guess I misjudged the hitbox of that thing. Or altitude. Let's wait for this guy to stop spinning, shall we? Then we kick him. And you do need to hold up to get across these platforms. Otherwise, you won't have enough jump height or distance, or height that ends up e equaling distance. Okay, now I believe it is actually boss time. Yep. Hello, Yosemite Sam riding a dragon. And... That probably wasn't the best time to check that, but... See if there are any other holes here, and no. I actually got through that level more quickly than I expected. And I could have sworn there was at least one other secret area there. So you have to jump on his nose, and be careful because it's basically surrounded by things that you will take damage from if you jump on. I think he takes 16 hits. I don't know if you can kick him or throw a pie at him. Probably not the best idea to try. Ow. Oh yeah. And he does that. If the dragon is about to sneeze like that, keep in mind that it'll get propelled backward and time your jump onto his nose accordingly. I said that weird. Accordingly. Like that. Also, now that I think about it, that dragon's fire breath reminds me of the Yoshi file fireballs in Super Mario World. Okay, I think that was five hits? Let's just hit him until he dies and make sure that I don't. But yeah. I get the feeling that Quite a lot of this level is about timing. Well, timing and positioning. And the boss also reflects that. Okay, was... Was that eight hits? Once again, I believe his health is cumulative, so if you happen to die, you don't have to start the boss battle all over from the beginning. Not that there's exactly ever any variety in his attacks, he just does this again and again and again until you actually beat him. See, if you jump too early or too late there, you either get hit by the dragon running into you, or you end up landing on his lance. Neither of which you want to happen. Also, I don't remember any Bugs Bunny episodes involving Yosemite Sam on a dragon. Maybe I just need to watch more cartoons, but... How many hits are we up to? Is this... 12, maybe? It's not enough, is the important thing. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, that was almost bad. Probably a good idea to follow him instead of just standing in one place. Not all the way to the edge, because then you won't be able to react in time, but... Okay, we have to be close now. Come on. 
That, that was like 14 hits, wasn't it? Maybe 15. I think I jumped to her. Okay, good. There we go, got him. And, due to extreme nasal injury, he falls off the dragon and his helmet crushes him. Yeah, that makes sense. So our style rating is Super Rabbit. That sounds good and promising. And it gives us three extra lives. I told you you could get three. Next, we'll be in level five, which seems to have a space theme. But, well, that'll be for next time. So, I will see you in the next episode.